O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. I'm going to change that promo. Tommy's two years old. <laughs> Always do your best. Express your own divinity. You don't need the acceptance of others. You don't need knowledge or great philosophical concepts. You have the right to be you and to express your own divinity by being alive, loving yourself, and loving others. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 243, NASDAQ up 44, SP's down 21. Gold, gold contract down $3.90, trading at 2,000 flat. You get silver up 3 cents, $25, 12 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude down 280, trading $74.30 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10 year note down six ticks, trading 115.19. The 30 year down 18 at 131.26 and King Dollar. King Dollar down 401 ticks, trading 101.462. The euro is out here at 110. The yen is at 133. And the British pound is at 124 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you get a market that wants lower price. You know, we've really had a sideways market out here today. Not too much action. You had it going back and forth about, uh, eh, I don't know, about a couple hours ago, the S&P gave it up. Uh, bottom line is that what you have here is that the SPY is at uh, 404. That thing wants to get run down to the lower end of this consolidation that we have right here, is, which is the 380 mark. We go into the NDX 100. This is the cool one now because the reality is, is that if the market was going to go, the bottom line had every chance to go out here today because you had Microsoft come out with numbers. Microsoft up about 20 bucks. Google came out. Google couldn't hold price. Google has a $50 billion buyback and it couldn't hold price. That, folks, <laughs> says quite a bit. Microsoft, I mean, uh, the, the Qs, the Qs got the 314.93, couldn't hold price. Closing in the bar again, that's saying the, the Qs want to run down to this, uh, God, I need better glasses, 285, and right now you're at 311. We're going to go to the dollar next. Why the dollar? Because the dollar is still running things out here, folks. And we go to the dollar, what you're going to see out here is that when we were getting smoked yesterday on the way down, uh, what we had is this, is that you had the dollar basically not moving a huge amount, but we, we, moved, uh, we moved 800 ticks, okay? And then today it gave it up totally. And what I had just said in the update, this is how bottoms are actually made, though. And when I say a bottom, I just expect the counter to bounce again. You know, it's, your benchmark here is that 101,546. That's where we came off the last bottom. That's not the low, but that's where the strength came in. You got up to the 106 area. You come all the way back down to the 100 area. And this is just deviant enough that that's telling me this wants to still go. So we'll see where the whole thing's going to shake out. And, you know, we have two more days in the week. And I expect you're still going to have some good volatility. The bond market... 1.5 million contracts out here. That's a lot of contract volume, folks, okay? This bond market looks like it's going to do an ABC structure up, meaning higher price, lower yield. And the volume's not bad out here today either. Yesterday we did 1.7 million contracts. Today we did 1.5. And then if we go to the gold contract, gold's holding up big time. Gold has done... 200,000 contracts today, 200, two, 226. And you don't have much movement. This is one that's subtle, though. The bottom line, gold, that's telling me that, you know, no matter what the dollar wants to do, this looks to me like gold still wants to go, which is pretty wild. We go into the silver contract. We take a look at the silver contract. Inside the silver contract right now, that's holding up too. 52,000 contracts, that's good contract. And then if we go to the bank, FRC, okay, 
bottom line, this this one here, this I can't wait to hear what the real story is on this. So picture this. First Republic, folks, okay? This is down another two dollars and forty eight cents. The Federal Reserve, bottom line, they just leaked the story that you know, so picture this. Two days ago the stock was at sixteen dollars. We're at five sixty two. Well, the Fed just leaked the story that they're thinking of shutting the window on them, okay? And the story goes like this, okay? You gotta, you gotta check this out, because this doesn't, doesn't come out of nowhere. U.S. bank regulators are weighing the prospect of downgrading their private assessment of First Republic Bank, a move that may curb the troubled firm's access to their lending facilities. Okay, that says it all. And then, you know, the, the, it goes on saying, okay, they haven't done it yet, and they don't know the person that said this, and Guess what? They leaked the story because there's something that's happening in FRC, First Republic, that actually doesn't make any sense at all. We know that they're bankrupt, okay? And they, this just keeps getting cut in half day after day after day. The amount of money that's going to be lost, I mean, Tom was talking about this morning, would you really keep your money in this thing? That, like, it doesn't even make any sense. Um, so there's something happening here, and I, and I suspect what, you, what we really have there is, is the aspect uh, that's what's people getting nervous, and that's why you saw that market basically turn around, you know, um, noon. And I think I think the nervousness, folks, actually has to do with incompetence. <laughs> okay, because there's either a connection into First Republic, meaning to other banks, that the market can get hit. There's something that's there, man. It just doesn't make any sense. Picture it. Signature Bank, they took out in, what, 24 hours, 48 hours? This has, this has been, what day is this? this what are we talking about? We're going on like a couple months. What? Yeah. You, you, we're going, this starts falling apart February 7th. February? Yeah, February 7th. No, March 7th. March 7th. Stop falling apart March 7th. Okay, that doesn't even make any sense. Okay, that's that's saying that you know there's uh, there's something else that's there. But I guess what, if this is in business tomorrow, I suspect it's going to get caught in half again and again and again. <laughs> Dow Dow Industrials right now down 218, Nasdaq's up 57, S and P's down 16. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.